friends, it's Nancy Vastine, and what I'm going to do today is make some gift card holders. And I do have a die to cut these out, but I'm sure that uh, people who don't have a die, you could figure out how to cut these out. So I got some paper here that I've already um, cut for my die and I'm going to do some stamping and some die cutting of these little I have some of these little things I want to put on the front of it and I also have the die cuts to cut them out I probably want to use some of my um, snowflakes that I made the little ones I have a bone folder I have some tape to tape it I have some uh, ribbon and I need to pause you and go get my flat back pearls. Hang on a minute. Okay, I got my flat back pearls here and I'm going to set these to the side because we're not going to use those right away. We're going to do some stamping and some die cutting and I have some, this is uh, basil cardstock that I bought a long time ago and it's kind of got pokey dots on it so I hope that it's going to stamp pretty good for me and I'm also going to use some of these uh, irresistibles I've never used these before online um, but I'm going to show you how they work and how cool they are and I'm trying to get the cord out of the way for the camera. If I'm shaking the camera, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's do some stamping first and get that out of the way. So I'm going to use my little thing here. And I'm going to do um, a Merry Christmas and this little, um, these are from Sizzix. These are Sizzix. Um, stamps with the die cuts and have the snow globe and the penguin so we're going to stamp those on the white and hopefully they come out good so that on this polka dot paper I'm not sure but it's I like the color of this white paper it's really white white and I'm hoping that these will stamp good and then I'm gonna we're gonna uh, use the irresistibles neon so they can be getting dry okay here we go wish me luck I'm going to stand up and put some pressure on that so it gets in all the little polka dots. Oh, I love how it's stamped on the polka dots. That's cool looking. Except for I'm going to be covering that up with the irresistible. All right, let's do the snow globe. I'm going to cut him off so I don't mess it up because I'm going to die cut it out with the die. Let's set that there so it dries a little bit. Let's do the snow globe. So how has everybody been doing? Is, is everybody getting ready for Christmas? Not me. I don't have anything up yet. I don't even have my little tree with the fiber optic lights 
even out of the box yet. I'm not in any big hurry. Okay, that stamped really good. Kind of smeared on one side, but that's okay. I'll cut that out. And now we're going to stamp the Merry Christmas. And I probably should stamp these twice because I want to make two of them. But I didn't cut enough paper. I will just do one with you guys and show you how it's done. So I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to get the... That turned out good. So now I'm going to put these stamps away. I'll put them to the side. And I'm going to die cut these out. So I can get the uh, irresistible on them. So let's see. Let's get my nifty, nifty little die cutter out here. My big shot. And I'm going to put this. That one doesn't go on that one. That goes on the other Merry Christmas. This one goes here. I'm going to put the die on there like so. Get it on there how I want it. And I have some scotch tape that is um, <sighs> removable. You can remove it and use it again. So I'm going to get this right on here. And then I'm going to tape it down and put it upside down on this plate. And I think I could cut all three of these at the same time. Get the snow globe on there. So it's easy, it's even all the way around, perhaps. And we'll put that one down. And we'll do the penguin. Make sure he's got an even space around him. This is the hardest thing about putting these dies on these. Already stamped images. Okay. See if I have enough space on here to cut them all out at once. Okay. Here we go. We don't need to use this little um, ones anymore, but we're going to need to use the big one. So set that down here, and we will pull our dies out. And they came out really good. little snow globe.
And of course, I was using these when I was making cards a hundred years ago. Not quite a hundred. Ninety-nine. <laughs> Not quite ninety-nine. Eighty-nine. I don't know. Seems like a long time ago. It was like in 2007 and 8 that I was doing cards. It's been a long time ago. Okay, so now I'm going to use my irresistibles. I'm going to use the white and the orange and the black. And I'm going to do this one first because I'm going to black all this outline in the irresistibles. And you want to shake these up really good. And they're, uh, they come out with a needle. They have a needle nose. And you kind of want to do this off to the side first to make sure you don't have any bubbles. So I'm just putting a little bit, I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see, but then I get off camera. So I'm going to make sure that I try to keep you in line here. So I'm going to go all the way around this outside of this, and I got a bubble. And it's going to be hard for you to see this black on black. And I'm going to line him up. This stuff is so cool when it dries. It kind of is a, leaves it shiny, but it kind of has a raised look to it. And if I could stay in the lines, it would be even better. I'm going to put my glasses on just because I think I need to see a little bit closer. Makes it a little bit bigger for me. Let's see, and I get off camera. Try not to squeeze too much out at a time. Because it does get out of the lines. I bought this stuff, oh gosh, a couple of years ago, I guess. I haven't used it very often. So when I decided to do these, I thought I'd get it out and see what it looked like. And I really liked it. And I keep seeing bubbles. So you have to kind of keep an even flow. So you don't get bubbles. This is my happy feet. My happy feet penguin. It has a bubble in it. Okay, I'm going to do its eyes.
legal eyes. And that's all I'm going to do in the black on that. I always make sure I wipe my tip off before I put these things on and back in. And then I'm going to do his feet white. some white over here on the side. Make sure it's not got a bubble in it. Come out. Come on, Steph. I keep looking up at the monitor to see if I'm in see if I'm still on the camera I know that's really annoying it is me when I'm trying to watch a video and I can't see what they're doing okay got his feet done and when his eye dries I'm going to put a little dot in his eyes I'm going to try to get this needle back in here so hard to get these back in that says to put it back in right away. Oh, come on, Nancy. I know you can get it in there. That's probably why I don't use them very much. And then it gets stuck in there. If you don't get them, it hardens up. Now I'm going to use the orange for his little beak because I don't have any yellow. And these are neon. Push a little orange out of there to make sure. See how pretty that is? These things are really pretty. I just don't know why I haven't used them. I hoard things for fear I will never get them again. I'm trying to stick the needle back in. Okay, just gonna. Push this off to the side and do this one. And I think I have neon pink, and I don't know what this one is. Um, I don't know what color this is. Electric coral, and this is electric pink. I think I'll do electric coil. Coil. Coy, coral on the bottom of the snow globe. And I'm going to put a drop over here on the side. Make sure that it's coming out okay. Can you see? Just 
just going to make sure that I get in every one. Oh, Wes went for a CAT scan today of his upper lungs. We won't have the results back until we see the doctor again, which will be another week. He goes in for treatments every two weeks with this uh, Opdivo. I think it's every two or three weeks, Opdivo. Chemo was every four weeks. Put my glasses back on. I don't know why I can't see any better with them either. I just thought I'd show you how this is all, how we do this with these irresistibles. So no other news than that. Dogs went to the groomers this morning. They got their bath and their toenails clipped and their teeth brushed and they're doing really good. Molly's got so much more energy now that I've got her weight off of her. I've got her down to 16 pounds. I still got to get her down further, but okay, that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do the snowman in white because I want the snowman to stand out. So I'm going to do him in white. So he'll stand out, um, but I wish I wouldn't go over the black lines, but I do. But I can fix that. I can do that with a pen after they're dry. Back over them with a black pen. Yeah, I think I really like this stuff. I just never have figured out what to use it on. And then I thought about pulling it out today. I know it's upside down, but I have to put it that way so I can touch it. I'm going to do his buttons in black. Well, the maintenance man came last night to put my new fireplace screen on that the owner bought and had it sent here from Amazon. And um, it just did not fit. And we always have this problem with this with this property because the owner of the house lives in Florida and she will just not let the lady manage it the way she's supposed to. So everything has to go through the owner that needs to be replaced or fixed or whatever. And So she ordered the fireplace screen and of course it didn't fit and not I can't send it back and I won't send it back to Amazon. She's going to have to send it back and they're going to have to take care of it because I'm not. And he got really upset and mad and 
he quit. Quit his job last night. So, I don't know. Now I have no fireplace screen on there. I got an email from her this morning saying she ordered one. And that Mark was going to come back and put it on. So, I hope he does. Okay, I'm going to do the black hat. And then I'm going to let it sit and dry before I go over the buttons in the face. Do the black hat. Oh, man, I didn't want to do that. Came out too quick. Oh, well. It'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to put these to the side now, and we're going to cut out our our card itself. I'm just going to set these up here. So I don't get in the way of the die cut machine. Okay, I have some paper cut and I'm going to use this one. I cut one out of black and I want to try the black. But I probably will just do the green one with you guys right now. Maybe I'll do the black one. But I needed to cut two of the Merry Christmases. So let's get this machine out and where's my other plate? Okay. So I'm gonna put it on here. Put this on upside down the paper on the die upside down because I want it to be on the polka dot side. And just roll it through. And there we have it. And it's cut out. See that? That's the shape that you need if you don't have a die cut. I don't know if you can kind of figure out. I can't do that anymore. I tried to figure it out so I could tell you guys how to make your own um, pattern. But with my brain tumor and everything, I can't. I don't comprehend measurements anymore. That's why it's, it shows to put a mat on front of these. I can't cut a mat. Another piece of my, I can't do that. So anyway, you've got score lines on here. You can't see them. But this has a score line that you fold over like so. And I'm going to put some tape two-sided tape on this to tape it over, to tape it down. And then it folds over like this. And that's where your um, card will fit in. So I'm going to take, I have quarter inch uh, double-sided tape, and I'm pulling you out a close-up so you can see The double sided tape, it's a quarter inch, and I'm just going to put that right there, like that. Like so. 
then I'm going to burnish it down so it gets on there good. And pull that up. And fold it over. Okay. Now, here is my score lines. I can hardly see them. But it folds up like that. Folds up like that. And then this folds down like so. And it tucks into the little slot there. There you go. There we go. So I have a black one here that I've already cut out. So I think I'll go ahead and and do it. And this is just out of regular black cardstock. I'm just gonna fold these ends over and tape them. You can use glue if you don't have tape. Uh, I just decided I want to use tape. This is regular score tape. I get it online from score.com. It's the cheapest. tape.com and I see I have a hangover piece of it hanging over there I'm just gonna fold it over and fold this over and tape it down and let me see if I can find a card here so that's how your card your gift card would fit in there see like so And then it folds up. And this folds down and tucks in. Okay. And let's see if we can hurry these little guys up. Dry them up a little bit. Come back here. Come back here, little guy. I'm going to put some black on your eyes and your buttons. In your mouth. I want to show you this. They're all dried. Can you see? Let me turn autofocus back on. I'm just going to not turn auto, but I'm going to just do the, can you see how that shines on there? And it raises up a little bit. I'm going to put whites in his eyes. I'm going to put a little bit over here on the side of my, oh, I got to bring you in. How blurry. I'm just going to put a drop of white in the little eye right here. In his little eyeball.
And on this one, I'm going to put his black buttons on in his eyes and his mouth. Because he didn't have a carrot for a nose. If it had a carrot, I'd have put the carrot, I'd have put pur our purple, orange on there. And why is this not coming off? I didn't think I screwed it on that tight. Drop this out because this, this one wants to come out real fast. See, that was too much. Gosh, and it won't come off. I think I ruined it. I ruined it, guys. I ruined it. I think I'm going to use a pen, my Posca pen. Oh my goodness. Yep, not going to use this. I'm going to use my Posca pen. This just comes out too fast for those little tiny dots. So, Posca pen, here we come. And it kind of smeared up there. Don't tell me I'm out of this. And there went my lid. I'm always dropping stuff. Do his little eyes. His mouth. His little buttons. His little hands. And I think I'm going to leave it alone. And we're just going to use the penguin and and that'll be that it'll have to just do it'll have to be smeared okay Mr. Penguin do we want you on this one or do we want you on this one but first of all I want to go around it with ink I want to ink him up and I have my little things that I made I made these out of foam and piece of PVC pipe and I'm going to do I think I want to do it in black. Ink him around in black. And I want to ink around this also. Just to kind of blend him in. A little bit. Just like that. And I got black ink on that. 
Man, I'm not having a very good time. So I want to just ink around these. Just to make it look pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Like Teresa says, pretty, pretty, pretty. She's got me into pulling out my dies and using my die cuts. That's Teresa's fault. And on Cracked Heart Studios. It's all her fault. She's the one that did it. She did. I can blame her. Okay, just like that. Just want to go around it like that. Put these away. And now, make sure I'm going to glue this on right. I'm going to put him right there. I thought about putting Merry Christmas on here, but I think I want to put one of my snowflakes on here. And I'm not sure which one I want to put on there. I think that one right there. Or maybe that one. Well, let's, or maybe one out of a can. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think I should do? One out of the can, like so, on top of his head, or over there. I think we're going to put it up here. Because we're going to put a flat back pearl on there and wrap a, um, a ribbon around it. So let's put him on. I want to put him down here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to use some tacky glue. Maybe I will use Mod Podge and Mod Podge it all, seal it all in. I think I might use Mod Podge. I don't know why, but I think he needs some glitter on him. This is Glitter Mod Podge. But I think he needs to be sealed in. So we're going to put him on there. Stick him down. Stick him down good. And then I need to stick him down with a 
I guess, but the card. He don't want to stay down. They were not dry. Here comes the Posca pen. that a little blow dry. And now we need to go over the top because this is not sticking. This is sticking down. Glue him down. I think I should put some glitter on him. Some glitter paint. That's what I think. But we will see. Okay. I'm going to dry this up. Oh, I see the Mod Podge glitter on there now. Yes, I do. I see it on there, shining bright. Okay, now let's see. Are we going to put this one up here? stick that there and I want to put a, a flat back pearl. I have them in every size on top of that snowflake just like that. Smaller one look okay, better. Or that one. Bigger one, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to use Aileen's tacky glue to glue the snowflake down. But first of all, I'm going to put some alley or some decoupage glitter on the top part. Of this. 
I don't want to glue it shut. And I want to put some on here. And on the top. And on the back. Because it's glittery and it's cool. And I want to make it glittery all over. like that. Okay. And I'm going to dry that up a little bit. I can see the glitter. I can see the glitter. Yay, glitter, glitter. You see the glitter? All right. Now let's decorate the top. Get this off of here. We're going to use Allen's Tacky Glue. Probably should use E6000. I'm just going to use this Tacky Glue. Come on. I know there's some in here. I want to do some of that faux leather or faux metal stuff like Josie did with the Allen's tacky glue. Well, it was original Allen's glue. I don't know if it was tacky glue or not. But. All right, I'm going to stick this on. I think I'm going to put it over to the side so it doesn't look like it's coming out of his head. Glue it down. Okay, come on. Stay down. Guess I'm going to have to cut a little bit. I'm wondering if I should use E6000. Doesn't look that that's going to stick. And I don't have any pliers to open this with. Let's see if my needle knows the pliers. Oh. 
help me. Because it sticks all the time. Nope. I guess I have to get my vice grips. That is not going to work. Let's see if I can get some of this other glue to open. Now this one opened. It's about the same as E6000. It's called Goop. So I'm going to put some of that on here. And that's what it is, is Goop. It smells like airplane glue. high. It will get you high. I'm going to wipe a little bit of that off and put just a teeny bit right in the middle. that pearl right there. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Tie a bow. I don't have any smaller ribbon. I need little ribbon. Thinner ribbon. I might have to go buy some. Because this is just not working. That's not looking good. I'll have to go get some thinner ribbon. This might look a little bit better, this white. I think I need a little ribbon. And scissors that will cut material.
Okay, guys. There we go. So there we have our little gift tag. Our little gift card. And we put our gift card in it. And there we go. And there you have it. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys can figure out how you can make it without the uh, die. I wish I could have helped you on that, but I tried really hard to measure it out for you, but I just couldn't do it. But it's basically that straight, um, kind of a straight piece of paper and then you just the width of your your card and you just fold it over you can make a little punch if you have a punch and you you don't need to make a slot you could just make it uh, a little glue dot or something there to hold it shut and then decorate the outside of it and there you have it so thanks for watching guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please share me and i will love you forever no <laughs> thanks guys bye bye hi i'm back i found some black twine and so i put that on it and i like it better than the the white uh bow the white ribbon I had on it but you get a chance to see how both of it both sides of it looks and I like the black better all right thanks guys bye bye